pretty much any time we've seen a new variant, um, it's it's already spread uh, around the world. So the fact that Omicron is in multiple countries in Europe, in the U.S., is not necessarily uh, an ominous sign. And I think that that's a key point to keep in mind. And also remember, we've not seen any evidence that Omicron produces more severe disease uh, than than any of the other variants. Another point to keep in mind. And now, in terms of whether or not this variant is going to um, resist the immune response to our current vaccines, it's possible, but it's l- unlikely to be totally resistant. It'll, it may be partially resistant, just like other variants that we've seen, like the B1351 from South Africa. Remember that one, the beta variant and, and the lambda variant. So and those never really took off, uh, even though they had a lot of mu- uh, other ser- concerning mutations in the spike protein. So we'll know about um, how effective vaccines are because we can do a test. What you can do is measure antibody responses to the vaccines, either in laboratory animals or from patients who have been or, or volunteers who have been immunized against the vaccines and see if those antibodies will cross neutralize the Omicron variant. And we'll know that probably by next week at this time or within the next two weeks. So that's going to be a vital piece of information. So, for instance, our scientists at Texas Children's Hospital and Baylor are now looking exactly at that, or the immune response to our vaccine, seeing if it cross-neutralizes uh, Omicron. So that's going yeah. to be a key point. And, and, and then we'll, the most important thing we really need to know right now is how transmissible is this variant? Yes, it's taken off in the province that contains Pretoria and Johannesburg, um, but is it sufficient to outcompete the Delta variant? And I don't really think we have strong evidence for that either. So, you know, a week from now, if we have this discussion, we'll have a lot more information. But right now, I think it's it's important to focus on what we do know is the biggest threat in the United States, and that is the yeah. Delta variant. It is accelerating well, now, and the U.S. population is incompletely vaccinated. 